Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and it is cold right now. In fact, right now it's negative four degrees where I'm standing, and a lot of people ask us, what about the animals at the zoo? Well, here's a couple things about the animals. The funny thing is, when we close because of cold weather here at Zoo Montana, we do it for the animal keepers, not the animals, because the animals, well, they're built so well for it, so much better than we humans. Now, a couple things I want to talk about. First of all, you're wondering why there's a horse next to me. He just walked out of the shot. He's right here. The reason is, is because horses are a great example of how animals can acclimate to cold weather. You know, before the winter comes, horses will actually generate a fatty tissue that actually essentially winterizes them and helps keep them warm during these cold winter days. On top of that, by adding forage, different types of fiber to his diet during the winter time and upping that diet, his gut back in his belly, it ferments and it, it, it digests quicker and it generates an incredible amount of heat that again keeps these guys very warm in the winter time. So much, more, much, more, much, much more efficient efficient than we humans as he agrees. Now of course other animals like if you turn this way our incredible alpacas over there these guys well obviously they have the fur that is well built for that that cold weather. Other animals that you've seen before, the otters, they have a double layer of fur. Of course, warm fur, waterproof fur helps to keep them, of course, warm in the winter time. Now, on top of that, we do a couple other things with the animals. We give them heat lamps that they can get into, straw they can get into, and the biggest problem we face, water bowls. What do you do with water when it freezes? Well, it's simple. We just simply use heated water bowls in order to keep their water nice and fresh. And so we do a lot that give these guys the opportunity to stay warm in the winter time and on top of all that last case resort is that all the animals have access to indoor night houses which means they can come outside if they want to and amazingly most of them do because we feature animals from the 45th parallel north so they're all used to this cold weather but if they are cold they can get inside in some of the exhibits like the bear exhibit radiant floor heating so it keeps them nice and warm of course on a cold day like today so don't worry the animals are taken care of you might see one or two shivering from time to time and that is completely normal just like we humans we shiver when we're cold some of the animals will do that as well but don't worry they are well taken care of guys until next time i'm jeff the nature guy here at zoo montana